How's it going everyone? Bainey here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a conversion ad using lookalike audiences and two different ads. So um, this is going to be a little bit different today, this video, than maybe the, some of the other ones you watch. This is probably a little bit more advanced. It's not more advanced. It's just something I would probably do on a daily basis is setting up one of these basic ads. So hopefully you get some value out of it. And if you're following along, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Um, and let's just jump into it. So, so what I'm doing is I recently just turned off an ad because it wasn't performing the best, it wasn't performing too well. It was a cold audience ad. So I want to, um, I left the winning one going. So I had two cold ones running. Um, one was getting like $38 sales and this one was getting $30 sales. So this one was obviously doing a lot better. So I left this one running, turned the old one off. So I just want to run another cold audience ad so then I can test it against this one. So firstly, I want to find my winning creative. So I want to come into the winning campaign. Come through the ad sets. See which one is the best. Okay, pretty clear winner right there. So what I like to do is I like to duplicate the whole tab to start off with just to keep it organized. So obviously this ad here has done the best. So I want to I want to get the post ID for this ad. I've showed you how to do it just on the right hand side here. Post ID lets me keep all the um, comments and shares and likes and all that sort of stuff. So I just want I want to keep them building up. If I was to recreate this ad from scratch, all the likes and comments and stuff would um, reset and it just um, doesn't help very much. So I want to keep all that. So I want to get the post ID, which is this one here. We'll just leave that for now. Um, and I want another ad too. Now I've just created this ad recently um, and it hasn't had much data on it, but I want to test it out in this new campaign. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and find it. I'll come over to my ads and I need to find it. It's this one here. See, so I've just named them something that I know, and I know this is the one because it's got long copy. And the reason why it's got long copy is because it's got longer text. It's just the way I named it. That's why these naming conventions are important. Um, you want to name something that um, you that you know is set up in your system, so you know you don't have to click into them and look at every photo and all this sort of stuff. You just know by looking at the name of them. So that's why that's important. Again, I want, to, I, want, I want the post ID. I'm just going to have that up there ready to go. Now, like I said before, I want to, I'm going, going to create a conversion ad using lookalike audiences. So this is probably something uh, a lot of you have seen before. You might not have seen it. If you're following along in my training, I haven't done lookalike audiences in ads yet. Um, so this will be pretty, um, pretty good for you to check out. So... Before we can create the lookalike audience, we need to create the custom audience. So what I need to do first is I need to create the custom audiences so then I can then make uh, lookalike audiences out of the custom audiences. So firstly, I want to make a custom audience of purchases. So I'm going to do um, make sure the pixel is selected. I want to come down here. I want to select purchases. I'm going to do 30-day, 60-day, and 180-day purchases. So this one's a 30-day one. So, CA, 30 days, purchases, and I like to do the date. So very simply, uh, 30 days, PU is short for purchases, and the, and the date, just to keep it organized. Create audience. I'm going to come and create a 60-day custom audience. So, purchases, 60 days. Custom audience, 60 days, PU, 3rd of the 9th. And 
And again, 190 dies as well. Hundred and eighty days is the maximum you can do for lookalike uh, for events. So um, that's all I'm gonna do, obviously. Eighty days PU date. What this is, this is creating custom audiences. So anyone who's purchased any, purchased anything from my website in the last 180 days will be added to these lists. We also want to do a custom audience for add to cart. I'm just gonna do the one add to cart. I'm going to do 180 day add to cart. Anyone that's added anything to the cart in 180 days is going to be added to this list. Add to cart. ATC is obviously just short for add to cart. 180 days, yeah, all good. So these are gonna take a couple hours to populate. So I like to leave them sit for a little bit. I don't like to create look like audiences straight away from a brand new custom audience. So I'm just going to let these sit for an hour and then I'll come back and make the look like audiences. Right, so it's been a couple of hours now. We want to come back and we want to just refresh it. And now I just want to make the look like audiences. So I come in here, create look like, and I want to make 2% look like audiences because these are pretty big audiences. Um, so this is, so this one doesn't actually require me to put Australia in there or America or anything like that. So this is a little bit different. Yours might like yours might be like this, or it might be like the other version I've showed in other videos where you'll have to type Australia or America or something like that. So I'm just going to make two uh, two percent look like audience. I'm going to do, I'm going to do it for all of them. Very basically, so it would be four of them. Right, look like. So I've now got my four um, lookalike audiences, 2% from the custom audiences I just made. So now we just have to go create the ad and put those inside of the ad. So we want to go to our ads manager. So what I want to do is come over here to the left hand side, just go create. Version I want to name it say so whatever naming convention works best for you. So there's going to be two percent add to cart uh, slash purchases look like audiences. So that's how I've named that. So I might just copy that. Come down here. I've got campaign budget on it's going to be $150 a day I'm only going to do one ad set in this campaign um, because I'm trying something different um, so usually I probably do three ad sets in a campaign but this time I'm only going to do one um, so I'm just going to show you how to set that up so come over to the ad set come here paste that up there so website I've got optimizing for purchases I'm not using any of this at this stage what I want to do, because I just created those lookalike audiences, um, they're not going to be ready straight away. So I can, what I can do is I can just schedule it to start in two hours, and by then they should be all fine. So I come here, come down to the where, where the, this is where I put the lookalike audiences, and you'll see they should be right at the top. The new ones you've just created should be right at the top. If not, you can just search for them. That's why I usually put the date because if if for some reason they're not at the top, all you have to do is search the date. And it will bring up all the ones that, um, with that date, obviously. So that's a good way of um, searching for them. So I put all the lookalike audiences in there. This is a really good feature, switch to value-based lookalikes. Um, I'm not going to use it on this one because I'm, I'm using it in another ad, so I don't want to have two. But if this comes up and you've got a lot of sales and a lot of data, this is a really good feature to um, test your ads out with, but I'm not going to do it for this one. So I'm just going to X out of that. I want to exclude, because this is a cold um, audience ad, I want to target people that have not seen my product or bought anything from before. So 
what I want to do is I want to exclude my custom audiences of anyone that's purchased before or visited my page in the last 30 days. If you wanted to, you can even exclude people who have um, engaged with your Facebook page in 30 days or IG page in 30 days, but I'm not going to on this one. I just want to keep it pretty basic. I just want to uh, exclude purchases and anyone who's visited my page in the last 30 days. So that's all I want to do. I want to, I want to do this. I want to have lookalike audience expansion on. And I also want to have detailed target audience on too. So um, sometimes I do keep these on, sometimes I turn them off depending on, on the ad. This time I want to keep them on. Leave it as automatic. And I'm actually going to run with a seven, day after, uh, seven days after click attribution, attribution setting. So basically what that is, is if anyone clicks this ad within seven days, they might not buy it when they click it on day two. No, that's probably not a good way of explaining it. So if they click it today, uh, and for whatever reason they don't buy, but then they come back and buy it in three days later, um, that sale we will be attributed to this ad set. And that will happen within seven days. So if they come back and buy on day six or seven, that sale will be attributed to this ad set. So say if I've got it set on day one day click of view, if they click the ad today and don't buy for whatever reason, but then come back and buy two days later, uh, Facebook won't attribute that sale to this ad set. So it's a little bit confusing to get your head around, um, but I'm gonna keep it on seven day click for this ad. So that's all I need for this one. I might just copy that again. Come over to next. And then that Cara, because I'm going to use a carousel. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, so make, make, sure, make sure your pages are picked. I'm actually going to be using an existing post, which is these, um, which is these posts up here. So what I'm going to do is I named it Cara, because this one's a carousel. See so how they come through here and it's a carousel. Um, yeah, these work, tend to work pretty well. So I grab the post ID. Come down here. Enter the post ID in here. If you're getting any errors like this, you have selected a domain that prioritizes your event, blah, blah, blah. If you get any errors like that, just scroll down here and make sure your domain's selected. It should be automatically selected, just sometimes it doesn't. So that's all I need to do in the ad creation stage of this ad. I want to have two ads in this ad set. So I want to X out of it. I want to make sure I'm on the ad set level. Uh, so here's your campaign level, ad set level, ads level. I want to be on the ads level, sorry. So I duplicate this. I'm duplicating the ad, so I'm going to have two ads inside of the one ad set. And this one will be the pink outfit. Come down here. So pink outfit, obviously I named it that because of that. So now I've got the two ads inside of the one ad set. So what I also want to do is now that that is all set up, I want to put my custom tracking in here. This is something I do on my ads. You're not going to have to worry about this on your ads yet, but it's just something I need to add. So this is just something I add to my campaigns. You're not gonna have to worry about it. And that's just for my custom tracking. Um, so that's pretty much set up. So I'm just gonna run over basically from start to finish. So I've got the campaign. Once I click into the campaign, I've still only got the one ad set. I've put my lookalike audiences in there, my 2% two, two lookalike look -like audiences for add to cart, purchases, purchase, 60 days, 30 days, and 180 days. I want to exclude purchases and page views. Uh, I don't want to use this. Uh, this is both on and on. Seven day click and view. Seven day click. 
um, and then in my ads I've got the two two ads obviously two very separate ads um, one's a carousel and one's a pink outfit these are all set up using our post IDs which I showed you earlier and um, that's pretty much it so what I'm going to do is just come over and publish that That should go pretty much straight into scheduling. King draft scheduled, yeah. So that will start in about two hours' time, so that will be all good. Um, and that's pretty much how I set up a conversion ad using 2% look like audiences, one ad set using two different ads. So what I'll do is I'll come back in a week or so time and I'll see which ad goes the best and I'll either turn one that's not performing off or depends how close they are I might just leave them both running we'll see how we go but that's um that's it for today guys if you're following along hit the subscribe button hit that like button leave me a comment below and hopefully you got some value out of that video um so yeah um let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video thanks guys